Good day everyone. Quick video for you on the uh, my 2021 Dodge Durango RT tow and go package. Uh, I bought the Eibach lowering springs, the Pro Kit. They only make one for the tow and go. And I believe they're the same for the all three models, RT tow and go, SRT, and Hellcat. Anyway, I installed these. And what you don't know is you need an extra part. When you go to a line the, uh, after you install the iBox springs, your rear tires, the camber, you could adjust the shit out of it. But the camber is going to be too much where the tire is squatting and it's leaning towards the top of the tire is leaning inside the fender. So to get the camber correct, you need to buy adjustable upper control arms. Ta-da! So I bought the uh, the B Woody control arms. That'll go right in there. To replace the stock flimsy as hell by the way control arm for the camber so I got I did the driver's side yesterday so I gotta yank this guy out and install this guy and it's double adjustable so you can adjust this side turns to make it longer you can also make this side turn and make it longer I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do a whole video on how to install it. it's pretty straightforward you got one bolt there, and you got two bolts back there. Pretty simple. And you just gotta take off this, this line, and they provide a couple zip ties to tie the line back onto the under this guy when you're done. Now I bought the hybrid. These are the hybrid. They come in three versions: polyurethane bushings, hybrid, and the um, Delrin, which is high performance, which is you only get the Delrin bushings if you're running like 900 horsepower or more so i just got the the hybrid so this is this is a real strong uh delrin it's not polyurethane so that goes on the that goes on the frame side so it'll be nice and sturdy um but then this side is the uh, softer polyurethane rubber so it'll be quieter and won't make any noise on the road as much as a pure delrin race application would so Anyway, it's funny that after I bought the iBox springs, got them installed, let them settle for a little bit, and I took it to, uh, I got my friend has an alignment shop, when you lined it, and the camber is, is way off on the rear end. You know, the, the tires are squatting like inside the, they're leaning pretty, leaning pretty bad in, towards the inside, towards the upper part there. So um, I went to iBox website, and sure enough, guess what they have now? they have adjustable control arms because I think they're getting some complaints about the cambers way off. So anyway, you know, this is good. This is turning into a, a more expensive project than I wanted it to be. You know, the iBox springs were like on T H. No, oh, I can't remember what side I got them from. I think the links in the description, they were like $400. And then now these control arms are about another $400. So it's starting to add up, but these are so much sturdier and stronger than the stock setup. So anyway, just a quick update on if you get iBox springs for your tow and go Durango SRT or Hellcat, you are going to need adjustable upper control arms to fix the camber issue. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found value in this, please like it, subscribe. I got some more stuff coming. Thanks guys. See ya.